and welcome to my tutorial on how to make the red guy from Don't Hook Me I'm Scared crochet bauble. For this you will need wool in red, white and black, a 5mm hook, a stitch marker, a wool needle, scissors and stuffing. So we are starting off with the body of the bauble. For round one you need to do six single crochets into a magic ring. For round two, you need to do six increases, leaving you with 12 single crochets. For round three, you need to do one single crochet and one increase six times, leaving you with 18 single crochets. For round 4 you need 2 single crochets and 1 increase 6 times leaving you with 24 single crochets. For round 5 you need 3 single crochets and 1 increase 6 times, leaving you with 30 single crochets. For round 6 you need 4 single crochets and 1 increase 6 times leaving you with 36 single crochets. For round 7 you need 5 single crochets and 1 increase 6 times leaving you with 42 single crochets. From rounds 8 to 15 you'll be doing 42 single crochets all the way around. I recommend you pause here so you can complete rounds 8 to 15. For round 16 you need to do 5 single crochets and 1 decrease 6 times leaving you with 36 single crochets.
For round 17, you need to do four single crochets and one decrease six times, leaving you with 30 single crochets. For round 18, you need to do 3 single crochets and 1 decrease 6 times, leaving you with 24 single crochets. For round 19, you need to do 2 single crochets and 1 decrease 6 times, leaving you with a total of 18 single crochets. At this point, you should start stuffing the body until it feels firm. For round 20, you need to do one single crochet and one decrease six times, leaving you with 12 single crochets. And for round 21, you need to do six decreases, leaving you with six single crochets. After round 21, you need to slip stitch and leave a long tail for sewing. Then you need to sew around the edge of the hole and pull it to close it up. Then tidy the ends away into the body. Moving on to the eyes. Using the white wool, for round one, you need to do six single crochets into a magic ring. For round two, you need to do six increases, leaving you with 12 single crochets. For round three, you need to do 12 single crochets all the way around.
Starting on round 4, you'll change over to the red yarn and then do 12 single crochets. Then from rounds 4 to 6, you will do 12 single crochets all the way around. Then pause here to start stuffing the eyeball. And finally, round 7, you'll be doing 6 decreases, leaving you with 6 single crochets. You need to slip stitch and leave a long tail for sewing. Then you need to sew around the edge of the hole and pull it to close it up. Then tidy the ends away into the eyeball. And remember to make two of the eyes. For the pupils, you can use black wool and a wool needle to add them in or you can use black felting wool and a felting needle to add them in. The final part to make will be the hanging loop for the top of the head. For this, you need to chain 30. Now we're moving on to adding the hair. For this, using the red wool, you need to cut up around 40 to 50 60 centimeter long strands. Then you'll fold them in half and using the crochet hook, you'll pull them through the top of the body. Then you'll loop them through and pull them tight to secure them in place. Carry on doing this around three or four different rows until the hair feels thick enough.
Once you think the hair is thick enough, just cut the ends to neaten it up. Pat the hair and using the wool needle attach the eyes to the top. And finally, attach the hanging loop between the eyes. Thank you for watching and please remember to like and subscribe as I'll be uploading more videos weekly. To add, I'm also open to suggestions if there are any crochet patterns you would like me to make.